Do, 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 do. Hey guys, welcome back to the weekly top five. Today we're starting with the top five weekly. Let's get started. All right, so we're here at the uh, oil rig, custom oil rig base. Anyways, I had to look for the f number five today because it's not a mission, it's a vehicle. This is like the second time people have done this to me. Why are we creating bases that are vehicles? Does anybody know? Is there a benefit to that that I don't know or something? Because they keep doing it and then I think that it's a mission it's not a mission it's a, a vehicle so anyways let's get started with the Alwint South custom oil rig base it should be spawning in right now and there it is I'm inside this is by Robertson so let's just go ahead and check it out of course I don't really like the oil bases I don't find them fun to mess around with pumping oil and all that stuff so we'll just take a look at the base, and if you want to play with it, of course you can. Because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go check out these things and play with them. So uh, we've got, I think this is, yep, yeah, this is the, uh, the drilling part. The drilling rig, whatever you want to call it. I can walk up here and check it out. Go all the way to the top. And really nicely built. So it looks great. And we have our tanks. Uh, let's go ahead and pop out into the camera mode so we can just check this out. All right, so here is the outside of the base. As you can see, it has a little boat, a helipad. It has the tanks. It looks like it has a control room. Uh, yeah, everything you need to uh, drill oil and some cranes too. So it's a really nice looking base. Let's go check out the control room really quick and see what it looks like on the inside. Can I jump without dying? Ah! Ooh, yeah, that hurt. Okay, so let's check out this area here. Looks like generators. It has the cat generators in here. Really nice control panel. I was I feel like we should be able to make these clickable, right? Wouldn't that be cool? To have clickable sign, paintable signs? Yeah, this looks really nice. I like this. Okay, yeah, nice details. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the main building here. I've got a medical room. I don't see... Ah, there it is, the lighting. Okay. So, again, nice artwork details. Uh, put a lot of details into just making it look like the actual room here. Like, for example, we have the laundry mat, and those look amazing. We can wash our clothes. We've got a welding tool? Why is it a welding tool? In the laundry room. What? Okay. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm not going to judge the laundry room for its welding tools. I got a toilet and a shower. Okay, oh, so this is the bottom room. Is that it? Wait, it looks a lot wider, doesn't it? Wait, hold on. There's this room, there's that bathroom, and there's that wall. Okay, so this is thicker, right? It's in here. How do I get in there? Oh, there's a back door. Of course there's a back door. Okay, we've got like a a menu. A little vending machine that looks really nice. A little area for reading. Of course, Mr. Lennon's TV. Uh, yeah. Okay, and we've got lights. And then we have the kitchen here. And storage. Okay, so that's the bottom. Very nice. Makes you feel like you're at home here. Okay, let's go up. And a little up more. Wait, did I see all of that one real quick? Wait, 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 wait. Was this one wider too? Let's check it. No, this is the whole thing. Okay, just checking. Don't want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So let's go ahead and go up the stairs. See what we have in here. Okay, I'm gonna go through the back door. Back door, same kind of way up. We've got living quarters. We've got wardrobe. More wardrobe and our beds. Nice. Over here we have more living quarters. More wardrobe. Okay. So if you guys want to go to the bathroom, do you have to go all the way downstairs? Is that the deal? Oh, there's one right here. Okay, cool. So that's this side. So let's go. Oops. Let's go around the other side and check it out. And here we have living quarters. Board rope, board rope. Yep. Living quarters. Board rope, board rope. And bathroom. Okay, so where is 
Did I miss it? Okay, we've got escape pods, but where is the area where you run all of this stuff? What? Am I missing the control room? Some where am I? Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. What? How does this work? Where is the controls for all of this? Oh, there is a third row. Well, hello. Okay. Almost screwed this video up by not finding the third row. Okay, third row. Surely you have all the controls in here. Or not. Oh, no, we do. We do, we do, we do. Okay. Um, recommend flow rate is about 5, 4, 8, 5, 5 when using diesel. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this because I never play with the oil add-on. It's not my thing. So I might just click buttons at random and see what happens. Like this one and this one. This is what we said you're like, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fun when it comes to this. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Yeah, I'm pushing random buttons. I'm not reading. I do apologize to the builder. Oh, that's interesting. It, like, flips it over. That is really cool. I don't know how it did that, but it's pretty cool. Oh, it's that one. Okay, yeah, that is cool. It has it so it flips over so you get two sides. That is pretty neat. Um, the monitor. Let's see. Uh, we've got the flow rate. Furnaces and all that good stuff. Lots of little details there. Looks nice. We've got this. I don't know. What is this? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Maybe. Or not. Uh, we've got a little radio system here. So let's see. Oh, we got this side. Oh, that's it. That is it. Okay, so we checked it out. We didn't use it because, like I said, I'm not into the oil drilling thing. And so I apologize when you guys build these awesome things. Uh, it's probably better for other people that actually enjoy doing this to... Uh, Play with it so I just uh, enjoyed looking at the builds and look at that you got the little thing oh is that good or bad it looks like it's on fire anyways the link is in the description this is by Robinson and you'll want to check it out all right let's get to number four all right coming in at number four where where is it did it go underneath the ground Ta-da! Not under the ground. Okay, coming at number four is the Volvo FH12 Omar's Recovery 120 ton, well, 120 ton, 120 ton crane heavy evac evacuator? Is that? E evacuator. Is that right? Heavy evacuator? Evacuator? Sounds funny when I say it. Anyways, this is by Tiger. So, look, it's got a tiger on it. So, looks very cool. Excavator. Isn't it excavator? Excavator? It says evacuator, but I think it's excavator, right? Or ex... Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm going to get sidetracked with that. But anyways, yeah. So we're going to call it a crane. <laughs> Just to make it easy. <gasps> Look at all the controls. That's always on. Let's see. Switch to RC control. Left boom down. Uh, that seems like a thing we need. Okay, let's do the supports. Okay, that's so we can move things. Left side open. Right side open. Oh, look at that. That's cool. And it's like grabbing onto the ground. Okay, what else do I do here? Uh, I could grab one of these, right? And then we can switch to RC mode. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's uh, A. Okay. SD, no. Okay, let's try number three, number four, number five, <laughs> number six. Okay, one. Okay, that turns that on. How do I move the other... Put the remote back, put the remote back. What do I do? What do I do? Okay. I'm not reading directions in case you did not know. Okay, let's turn that back on. Jeez. Oh, Uh-oh, I'm pressing random buttons. I'm not getting anywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is better. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hold on. A and D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W, S, length. It's not working on the length. I'm not 
pressing the right button. Okay. Yeah, there's shift or up arrow. Okay. How do I extend it? That's ropes. Okay, so it doesn't extend further? Just the ropes do. Okay. Yeah, I didn't read the directions. Sue me. Okay. Here we go. Let's put it back down. And then we'll put this back up. Oh. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Here we go. Left, left support. Right support. Rear supports. Now how do I close that again? All right. Closed it. Oh, I'm getting good at this. All right. There we go. Closing it up. Oops. That was not the door. Is this the door? Oh, that's cool. Opens up. Get to the engine to fix it. Okay. Oh, look at this. Is that the door right there? Oh, that's nice. Wait, how'd that work? Is that a rail block? What is that? Oh, yeah, it's a door jam block. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that before. You can actually see the button, so you kind of know where to press. That's really nice. Okay, jump inside. Now we've got the door to shut. Oh, good, 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 good stuff. Okay. Um, mirrors. Nice. Let's see. Ignition one. Okay. Light mode. Is that light to turn left? Oh, no, it's doing the outside lights. We have bottom lights. Bigger lights. Is there another mode? And, oh, the top lights. Okay, that's cool. And brake on by default. Ah, turn the brakes off, please. All right, let's go. Okay. Interesting, it has the four front wheels. Turn it. Interesting, I've never seen that before. That's cool. Okay. Uh, drives nice. It's uh, automatic, apparently, right? I don't see anything for changing gears. So we can go ahead and come around here. Let's see. What's it say? Oh, look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Double press S to reverse. Okay, that works really well. So you double tap the S and then you can reverse. And then I double typed W to go forward. I don't know if I had to, but I did. Okay, we got Q for our blinkers. Let's see the blinkers go on. What else do we have? We have a front winch that we can use shift for. We have a handbrake on space. Oh, not quite the uh, I Like Turtles handbrake. So apparently I Like Turtles did a handbrake where it doesn't apply the pressure all the way or something. Oh man, he left a comment. Now I forgot what it said, but he does like two things. He like puts the clutch at like 50% or something and applies like brakes or variable brakes or something like that uh, this one is full out hand braking so not too sure if it's just supposed to be for stopping like you know for extra braking as if you're applying brakes or if it's like simulating like if you actually put the handbrake up inside of a car but if you did that you wouldn't just tap it you would it would stay up so not positive with the handbrake is for this. I was hoping I could drift. Not gonna lie. Just wanted to drift. We got the horn. That's a big horn. We got the light mode. Of course, is on the keyboard as well. So we can swap the lights. And what else do we have? The heater. Cabin light. We did that. Emergency lights. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Let's do nighttime. There we go. Now we can go and whoa! Rescue. Uh, some giant truck, I think? I feel, I feel like this is for, like, buses and stuff like that. Actually, on the screenshots, there's a bus. So, yeah. Very nice. Nicely done. Uh, you can download this in the description below, and you can play with it and learn how to use the crane properly. Don't do what I did. Like, read the directions. Jeez, people. Come on. All right, let's get to number three. All right, coming at number three is the 3D Scanner Ocean Surface Scanner LiDAR Camera, and this is by Kenny Powers. Uh, this was on number, oh, it was on the extra five last week, but now it's pushed itself up and we actually get to play with it. 
So this is, I guess, the sample. If you want to see a kind of a better example of using this like out on the ocean, you might want to check out 454's video where he took it to the Titanic, I think. So I'm just going to be using the sample here. You'll want to actually go ahead and install this on your own ship or boat, but this is a cool little example, so we'll give it a try and see how it works. Okay, uh-oh, I might need instructions. I forgot how to use it already. Select a part. Okay. This kind of reminds me of uh, Indiana Jones, where he had like the stick and he's trying to find where the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark is. Where the Lost Ark is, not Raiders of the Lost Ark, where the Lost Ark is. And it's in that building. So this is where we have to dig. So there is the scan. This is what it scans so far. Interesting, okay, I'm gonna click on here. As you can see, it's scanning more. And we, what can we do here? Oh, we can spin it around. You know what I kind of wish? I kind of wish there was like a button here somewhere that did like a slow uh, spin. So it could kind of be like, uh, I don't know, like one of those cave renders and like aliens or something. Uh, not aliens, uh, Prometheus. And then you can kind of like see a layout of what you're scanning like really slow. Like, really slow. This is really fast. Okay, I think there is a way to do resolution, I think. Let's see. Let's try again. Scanning it better? It looks like it's scanning it again. What's this do? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna say something stupid. Like, if the devs talked to the community and said, Oh, you know what? You did a really good job on the scanner. We're going to be releasing a mission, or a set of missions, where we will put your scanner on a boat for the mission, and your mission is to go out and search for, you know, a missing ship or whatever. But we got a couple of missions like that. And so we provide the boat for the mission and you go out and you use a scanner and you find a thing. I don't know what this is doing. There's nothing in the instructions, but we'll just hit it again and see what that does. I did X7, but I don't know. I think it might be scanning like a different set of lines. Anyways... On that note, I should probably go ahead and stop playing with... Oh, is this like scan range? Nope, I definitely broke it. I pushed too many buttons. Okay, anyways, <laughs> this is number three. And you can download in the description below and put it on your boat and go look for the Titanic or any sunken ship that you may have lost during the game and the mission and uh, have a lot of fun. So, very cool. And of course, this is by Kenny Powers, and you can download it in the description below if I didn't already say that. Let's get to number two. All right, back again from last week. In a different form is I Like Turtles, and this is the Douglas DC-47D Spooky Puff the Magic Dragon. Uh, but it comes with some uh, add-on features here, which are these cannons. Now, I wonder how he did this, because whenever I put something in front of guns... They destroy each other. I guess because these are XML edited, they don't have any uh, boxes or something? I don't know. But uh, anyways, yeah, these are like cannons. And so this is like a, kind of like a, what are those gunships called? Uh, like, not a C-47, is it? I don't know. But it's like a gunship, but for World War II. So come in here, and we'll go ahead and arm these. Okay. So, arm, fire rate, low or high. I'm just gonna put it up because I watched his video and he, that's what he did. Got some workbenches. Looks like seats, but you can't sit, okay? But you can. Look at that. That's cool, okay. All right, so now, what's this, red light? Got a radio room. Little map room. Is this new? I don't remember. Oh no, that was like a passenger plane. That's why. Duh. Okay, do I remember how to turn this on? Kind of, maybe? Uh, we need, let's see, we need batteries, I think. Where are the batteries? Okay, I still don't like these pipes. These pipes drive me crazy. Ugh, yeah, they drive me crazy. Okay, but we got right battery switch, left battery switch. Let me just do this. Cut that off this and this all right good 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 okay now we get inside it almost looks like it does both but then it doesn't that's interesting okay uh anyways that's it disengage the brakes that was what killed me last time and then we'll start rolling 
All right, cool. Okay, for takeoff, I need to turn on the superchargers, which are right. Okay. And then we will be... Uh-oh. Hold on. Did he change? <laughs> Wasn't space toe brakes? Crap. I'm gonna crash. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. Okay, so we got the engine started again. Hopefully, I can figure out how to turn. So I think he changed it because I think it was space bar and a toe brake last time, but now <laughs> it fires again, which I did not reset. I should probably reset these. We should be ready to go now. I'm gonna hit both Q, right, E and D. I'm not too sure what turns the plane, but we're gonna go with this for right now. Toe brake's number five? What does that mean? Do I hold number five? I'm confused by toe brakes. I like turtles. On my B-17, toe brakes are are applying variable brakes to the left or right front brakes, front wheels. But yours, I'm confused by what you mean by toe brakes. You just mean like for stopping? Like it applies both? I'm confused. You have to tell me about that, how, what it's doing. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the triple treasures. Boop, boop. Okay, and let's get out of here. Let's go, please work. Okay. Ooh, we'll just close. All right, there we go. Lovely. Okay. Landing gear. All right, there goes the landing gear. Okay. So, if I remember right, off. <laughs> Watch this video this morning, but now I can't remember. Okay, so we're supposed to find a target, and then we're supposed to. Oh, set altitude. Okay. So we want to. Where's that? Where's it at? That, okay, increase altitude to a thousand. Okay, cool. Now what do you do? And turn on the autopilot, which is... Altitude hold. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think it's on. I hope it's on. Oh, that would be useful. Okay, there we go. So, now we have to find a target. Wait, wait, wait. No, we don't. We have to set our flaps. Where the hell is the flaps? Flaps somewhere, please. Where are the flaps? I cannot see the flaps. Okay, there we go, there we go, okay. So, flaps to 10 degrees. Close enough, okay. And now we're out in the ocean. Okay, so now we're supposed to <laughs> turn on the reflex sight. Turn on the reflex sight? Where the hell's that at? I should watch the video twice. Oh, reflex sight, number six. That work? I don't see it. Six. Does it only show up when you turn? Six, six, there it is. Right there. Okay. I guess we want to hit that island. Alright. So, approach the target on the right of it. Roll left to make your gun sight parallel to the target. When your gun sight lands on the target, open fire and use roll to keep locked. Okay. So, we're going to attack that little island right there. Hopefully. Get ready, peoples. going to light them up with our reflex sight. Okay, wait. Roll, 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 roll. And... Fire! Should have just went for the big land mass. At least I could hit that. Let's see if we can hit this island here. And roll. Roll, 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 roll harder. <laughs> this is awesome. Except I will never be able to hit anything. This the troops down there, vehicles will be safe. That's why we're gonna go for something a little bit bigger, like this island. Pretty sure I can hit anything on this island. Let's try. Let's try hitting that tree. Yep, that's the one I was aiming for. And that one. And that one. Wow, that is cool, right? Look at that. Alright, very cool. So this is the Douglas AC-47D Spooky Puff the Magic Dragon. And this, of course, is by I Like Turtles. Hopefully, I didn't embarrass myself too much with this plane. But who cares, because it was and is a lot of fun.
let's get to number one. All right, coming at number one is the Airbus H125 AS350 Ecuriel. 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 Yeah, let's go with that. Light utility helicopter, and this is by Mr. Earth. So it's got something running on the inside already. I don't know what, but we're just going to go ahead and jump inside. But first, let's take a quick look around. Well, that's interesting. Okay. And, uh, yeah, let's jump inside. So, oop, easy to get in, which is nice. Is that the door? What is that? Yep, that's the door. Okay. We've got landing lights. Uh, there's the landing light. I can't press that button. Hmm. I can't. Oh, that's, that's hard to press. I don't know what the deal is. That button's hard to get to. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Are we doing anything special? Am I missing something here? Let's read the directions. Oh, he has a nice little page that he made. A really nice little page. It has pictures and everything. Looks like an actual training manual page. So, very cool. Turn the engine switches on the overhead panel. Of course, overhead panel. Who didn't think to look there? Not me. Engine pumps. Engine start. Nav lights. Whoa! Okie dokie. Uh, okay, it's got quite some yaw going on. Okay, we're gonna go forward. Maybe a little shift. There we go. Now forward. Oh, door, door, door. Wall, wall, wall. Oh, 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 oh. we made it out. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and go up. A little shift key going on here. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's try it. So I'm pushing all the way forward, so it does uh, have some kind of counter, probably the gyro, so it doesn't go straight into the ground. Do we have any more things to press up here? What do we have? Dome light, uh, nav lights, and anti-collision lights. Okay. Cool. So there we go. And we're off. So that is pretty much it. It is an easy-to-fly helicopter. I mean, if I'm flying it and it's not crashing, it's easy to fly. Well, it almost crashed, but I'm flying it, so, you know, it's probably why. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Extra 5 today. Coming in at number 5 on the Extra 5 is the HMMWV Humvee Spike Missiles, and this is by quite a few people. This is by Westag, Blank, and Amigo FPS, and uh, it looks really cool. Got a weapon system on there and ready for your use. Download it in the description below. Coming in at number four is the Curtis SB2C4 Helldiver. Oh, this is by Brooke. I don't know Brooke, but Brooke, you made a cool plane. I'd love to try it. I probably will by myself because I love the World War II stuff. So yeah, very nice job, Brooke. Can't wait to try it. Coming in at number three on the extra five is the Steamship SS Boar. It's sinkable. And this is by Sucker Plays. Ah, you gotta love that name. Looks lovely. Nice yellow color and a really cool looking logo on the side. Coming at number two is the Great Lakes Freighter SS Robert Fulton. And this is by Dave Zed. And it looks really nice. Looks like you can transport your goods up and down the Great Lakes. And finally, coming at number one on the extra five is the Project 22800 Karakurt Small Missile Ship version two. This is by two people, Vovo Da and Tortic. And uh, you can download this awesome little missile ship using links below. All right, so that's it for this week. This is the uh, top five and the extra five. You can download all of these builds in the description below. Go ahead and if you enjoy any of these builds, make sure you leave a comment on the workshop page to let them know that you tried it and that you enjoyed it. Uh, so that is it for today. If you haven't done so, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And thank you again for all your support. And uh, we'll be doing some interesting things in the near future. But for right now, we're keeping it simple. A couple of videos a week. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.